Hello, this is Underwear Guy, and today I'm taking a look at a line of underwear that I think most guys have seen and tried out, which is the Life by Jockey underwear, which is available exclusively at Walmart stores. This is the Premium Cotton 5 String Bikini Pack, and I think you'll find they're a really good deal when you talk about the fact that you can get five pairs of underwear for uh, less than $15, I think, depending on taxes where you are, it's going gonna, it's gonna to range a little bit. This is the packaging that was available when I purchased these not too long ago. I believe this is still relatively current, which is the plastic clear box with printed inserts, which is actually really nice. I think this was fairly nice packaging, quite honestly, with the size and the quantity. These are still 100% cotton, low-rise styling. Not so sure about that part, but um, overall, it's a nice way to be able to preview what's inside because you can see this particular package had uh, five different solid colors. There have off and on been different types of stripes and prints available as well. Here we have a gray, a red, a white, a black, and a dark navy blue. I'm going to take all these other colors away so that we can concentrate on just looking at the gray pair. So like all traditional string bikini, you have a high cut on the waistband. In the life underwear, that's obviously a very low profile covered elastic waistband. It has a full coverage back. That's the first comment I actually have about these. The back is cut quite generously actually, more so than I think most men's underwear. So I guess that's good if you have um, the need. Maybe you have a more ample <laughs> backside. But for me, on the more average side, um, not being super uh, big and needing a ton of coverage, this felt a little bit excessive and uh, maybe not the best fit for everyone. It's definitely full coverage, not probably my favorite part of the, the design here. In the front, you can see they've done some work to try to shape it, but there's really it's really just a flat front. And when you do wear it, it actually is relatively comfortable, but it's definitely not going to do anything helpful for um, your lines. It's not lifting or enhancing in any way. I think you just have to accept at this price point that's not going to be a common feature, but it definitely is something to consider that with other underwear, you're just going to pay more, but you're going to get some nicer features. The overall construction is relatively good. The stitching is clean, there's not a lot of rough edges, and I don't see any haphazard threads anywhere. So again, given the price point, this is made fairly well. You can see here they actually use a fabric tag. So that's a nice touch because they could have gone to something much cheaper made out of like paper. And then just to take a closer look, there you've got just a simple seam at the base here. The fabric itself is somewhat stretchable on the horizontal direction. Vertical, there's literally almost no stretch at all. That's the, the other thing I would comment. When you're talking about spending a little bit more money, you're going to get more of a nice fabric blend. I really don't think this um, has to be made out of 100% cotton. I think a little bit of a cotton spandex blend is going to give you a much nicer fit overall. It's also partly because it's 100% cotton why you see um, sort of all this gathering along the elastic, along the waistband and the leg bands, which you don't see in more premium underwear. You're not going to see kind of all this rippling and folding effect. So for example, just to kind of compare a very similar style but from a higher end line with end-to-end -end bodywear string bikini, you can see because they've got a nice stretch fabric and just a little bit more attention to detail. You've got a nice smooth waistband um, even when you're not wearing it. And with the increased stretch in the fabric both directions, there's just an overall better fit because what they can do is they can cut the back a, a little bit smaller. They don't have to worry about um, being too tight because they know it'll stretch and conform to a broader range of, of fit and sizes of guys who might wear the underwear. The other thing is with 100% cotton, you just have to be aware of shrinkage um, and the fit being quite different out of the box versus after a couple wears. You're going to get more consistent fit over time with something that has a, a fabric that's spandex blend with some stretch. 
overall, the other comment that I have is that the the call out that this is low rise is a little bit of a misnomer because you can even see from the length of the front piece in this cut, it's actually got a lot of fabric here. If we compare that to the end to end bodywear string bikini, I mean, we're talking about almost half that vertical coverage. So I think it's perhaps relative based on your build, but I really wouldn't call these low rise technically. Um, and the other thing that tends to happen is it's not very consistent where the waistband hits you because the back is so generous, you kind of, it kind of ends up coming up a lot higher in the back than in the front, which isn't necessarily ideal. It's not uncommon that you get that with underwear just because of the way that the design and the shape is, but it's not necessarily, I think, the best design. So you, I know I've made quite a few criticisms and, and called out some things. That doesn't necessarily mean that I think this is bad underwear. I do think you get what you pay for, and if you really want a nice string bikini that's going to last you a little bit longer and do a lot more for the overall look while you're wearing it, then some alternatives, not unlike the end-to-end -end bodywear option, and there are some other manufacturers that I, um, I'll try to call out and probably a guide in the future when you're looking for this style. But at the same time, you know, for almost the price of, or, or actually less than the price of one of these, you're getting five of these. That's a hard argument to make against something like this, where it's just really inexpensive, and I think a lot of guys, not everyone can afford um, $20, $30 per pair of underwear, and so to be realistic, if you're looking for something that has a string bikini cut, this is actually a really decent option. It's wearable for all day, it's relatively comfortable, and it generally just works. So I would say between um, if you can between the two options of having the ability to spend a little bit more, definitely check something else out other than these. But if you're looking for a bargain deal for underwear, then these are worth it. Um, they're they're not bad. They're not going to last a long time, but they um, will will give you what you probably need as long as you don't expect a whole lot out of the wearing and the look of these. So until next time. Thanks for watching.